What a sunny wow. day, Sierra. Wow, look at that day, huh? Wow, incredible out here. Today is a pretty exciting day because my mom is flying in. It's been, what, about two and a half months since we saw her and yeah, she's gonna spend a little bit of a few weeks here and just hang out and I think she's arriving in about an hour. So we're gonna, gonna take the dinghy into town and go and pick her up. Exciting! It's so cool when family comes to visit. So it's amazing. Have you missed more and more, Sierra? I don't know how much she understands. I've been trying to like describe to her, but I guess we'll see her reaction when she actually sees mom in the airport. Here we go. Here comes more and more. I see her. She's Wait. right. More more! There she is. There she is, Hi, Myanmar. Where's my hug? Where? Welcome to Panama. Oh, thank you so much. How was oh. the trip? Good? Good, great. Long, but Who's great. happy? Hey, we can clean the beach. Get on it. Watch your, watch your head, more and more. Oops. There's a morning line right, right behind you. Watch your head. After who that? Hooray! When was the last time you were on Delos? Antigua? Oh, Antigua, yeah, two, two years? No, over. Three years? Three years ago. Wow, yeah, three oh. years. Hello. Oh. Nice meeting you again. <laughs> Let's get <laughs> Back on Does it look the same? Yeah, yeah, yeah it looks the same. Smaller bananas. Yeah. It's really fun to see Sierra, like she's really, really recognizing you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got so happy. I was yeah. so emotional. It's she like, went like more and more. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was, that was so really sweet. Cool. I know. That is so sweet. Oh, Peppacocor. And Peppacocor. always, when you come, you have to bring <laughs> yes. treats. Yes. Treats from Sweden. This is for oh Ryan. So good. Ramo canti, ramo le che ramo dolle ramo sos, tanto non si male, tanto non si male. Marta was no stranger to life on Delos. Over the years, she'd been with us in the Philippines, Borneo, South Africa, Antigua, and now here in our little jungle paradise in Panama. Every visit was special in its own way, but now that we have little Sierra in our lives, we've come to find an even deeper appreciation and connection with our families. So we couldn't wait to share our lives with more more and continue to explore our amazing backyard here in Isla Bastamentos. You ready to go on a dinghy mission, Nugs? Yeah. Put the baby in. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take more and more snorkeling in the mangroves. That's our oh, mission Jesus, today. My back. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Twelve kilos. Whee. Took a little bit to get going this morning. Yeah, I like you, Shaw. Had a few tragedies, but look at her now. Are you ready to rock and roll, Nugs? <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go. Look at who's sailing through. Are they 
fishing too? You guys are trolling while sailing through the pass? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I like your style. Beautiful day. Yeah, we're going for a little snorkeling mission. We're going to do that too. Cool. Well, you guys have fun. Bye. Just wanted to pause the video for a second to give a huge shout out to all our amazing patrons out there. You guys are really the ones that make all of this possible and there wouldn't be any videos without you guys. So if you enjoy the videos and would like to help support our project and keep the videos coming, please go ahead and check out patreon.com forward slash svdelo so you can see like all the gear and all the perks and everything else you get when you join our inner tribe. Awesome. Thanks so much and send you all much love. <laughs> Back to the video. Bye. Bye. Whoosh. As we meandered our way through the mangroves, we stumbled upon a pretty incredible spot that we just had to go check out. Marina, hey, welcome. We were just coming around the corner and we saw a house that we recognized. Right. This is our friend Cindy who used to own the other Amel in the marina. Yeah. And she said we should just drop by someday and so That's here we are. Right. So this is cool. So you have the whole entire island? Yes. So but this is like a house over the water. Oh, Beautiful. Like, David had a giant head and I fattened him. Did you find a kitty cat? Look at the kitty cats. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> You're welcome to go upstairs and look at the loft. Watch your head because when we built it, we didn't really know what we were doing. And, <laughs> the angle. And so, yeah, and we're both really tall, so we can go like a foot either way from the center of the. So it's, you have rain rainwater catchment? Uh huh, a water tower, so it's gravity fed. Down oh, cool, and that's on the islands? Uh huh. And an amazing view from the bedroom. So why did you decide to build the house over the water instead of on the land? Well, we needed a boathouse for the Ponga because we were taking the dinghy to town and a bigger boat was needed. So then the Ponga really needs to be covered. You've seen the torrential rains yeah, we get, yeah, it sinks yeah. the Ponga pretty fast. Okay, so this is actually, you built it as a boathouse, but then it's yeah, actually then, just a really nice boathouse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically this was going to be like all maintenance area, yeah, and then okay. at some point it just morphed it's just, into It's all you house. need, really. Yeah. But yourself. how do you get electricity? Solar. The solar panels there, oh, and it runs through yeah, the... Yeah, there's, there's an inverter. Uh -huh. You have batteries as well? Yeah, they're okay. under here. So everything you have on a boat, it's just yeah. in the... I don't think we could have done this without the experience on the sailboat, you know? Yeah, It just cool. gives you so much knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Even if you know nothing when you start, you figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the house was absolutely gorgeous, but probably one of the coolest things about it was being able to see sharks in the water right from the kitchen. Wow. Yeah, shark. See, so, yeah, you get shark, to see the coolest yeah. things, huh? Shark. You don't see that every day. A nurse shark living under your house? such a cool spot to live just like on an island out here <laughs> and have like the fish right next under your house and sharks and it's beautiful. Pineapples. Baby pineapples. I haven't seen that since Madagascar. I know. So she said the island is five acres of land and the mangroves are another eight acres. Oh, really? Wow, look at this. It's like a little resort up here. Put them on. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't wait until you actually can wear flipper snugs. That's amazing. Okay. All right, here we go. Hey! Oh, the random people we meet, huh? Beautiful, come on in. Look at you. First time in your mask. That's amazing. Good job, Sierra. <laughs> Do you want to go find the shark?
What do you think about that? Yeah. <laughs> it's a conch. There's a there's a little animal that lives inside this. It's like a it's like a giant snail. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna put them back underwater. Okay. Did she get stung by something? She got stung by a jellyfish. <laughs> Okay. What a great wow. visit. Nice. That was awesome. Surprising and random. I had no idea that. Bye, Lou. Bye, Daddy. Time to go back home. I had a project I was keen to start back on Delos that afternoon, so it was time to head home. But I figured I might as well take advantage of the dinghy ride home to get in a quick session on the wakeboard. <laughs> Not in a long time. I bet. My work. So this is pretty exciting stuff. Marlow, pretty cool company. Really more known for like the racing products, but they have a lot of stuff for the cruising and leisure market. And they sent us some halyards and some new sheets and some other lines. We're gonna replace them on the boat. So I've been uh, like whipping ends and stuff, which is actually very calming and nice work when you're just sitting here. That'll be it. Look at this line. It's beautiful, huh? Yeah. This stuff is so strong, Keza. But before I could start replacing all the lines on board, I wanted to clean up the old ones a bit and store them away as spares. The lines are a bit dirty, huh? Oh, God. Here's a tip. Never leave your sailboat in the jungle and not take, like, the sheets and stuff in because look at, I mean, they just got so, so moldy and the whole thing just looks terrible. So I'm going over it with some soap and like some mildew remover and just scrubbing them with this dish sponge. And it's kind of like, look at all the dirt that's coming out of them. Yeah. But it is a lot of work and they're not perfect. Some stuff. people said to put it in the washing machine, but I don't think they would appreciate that. <laughs> I know and I've heard that before, but I'm not going to put it in our washing machine, I know. and there's probably a reason for that. <laughs> and you see a lot of signs in marinas, it's like, please don't wash anything but clothes, because yeah. I think it really does. It's like a lot of weight, you know? Yeah. And this works fine. Look at all the dirt that came off in here, too. Ooh. Nasty, you know? Are you helping Daddy? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Good job! <laughs> you have the gloves on the right hand, too! <laughs> You're the best baby helper in the world! <laughs> she just bowed! Ta-da! Oh, I love you, you can kiss. Oh, okay. Okay, right, so this is the four guy for the pole. This is actually one of the original lines that's been on the boat for over 20 years now. It's getting pretty worn, look at that. I mean, they've done well to last that long, but they've just got a lot of miles on them. And then this is the replacement line. Uh, because these are all uh, synthetic fibers, they're ultra, ultra, ultra strong. And so we're gonna be replacing this line with like stuff of that size, which is a little easier to handle and work with. 
pretty cool stuff, huh? That's awesome. Yeah, so. So which one will this replace? So this is going to replace the one that we use uh, to hoist the spinnaker and the, the ballooner. And then I have another one that we'll use to replace the utility hire that we use for hoisting the dinghy. Just don't want this to come apart in like the middle of the mass. That oh, would like suck. The worst nightmare. So I'll just go through it a few times. One more time maybe. Okay, I think that's, that's attached pretty good. I'm just gonna take Hi. it for safety. Here we go. Part of the mass is really gonna suck. Sometimes I feel that I don't give the running rig in Delos enough TLC. I have a set schedule for changing the oil and maintaining machinery and electronics. And before a long passage, I like to inspect the standing rigging as well. But for some reason, I only replace the running rigging when it shows obvious signs of wear. Since we were at a dock, it was a great chance to replace the old lines with some high performance fresh ones. This project was actually completed over the span of two weeks, taking a few hours each afternoon to measure, cut, and whip the new lines, installing them one by one as the old ones were removed. All right, well that concludes the lines project on Delos. This is a beautiful new halyard for the spinnaker, main utility halyard, preventer for the gym cars, outhaul, a new preventer for the mizzen as well. That's looking really nice. I like that color. It's quite a bit of work. It took a few uh, few days, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's nice to have some new halyards and lines on the boat. Thank you so much, Marlo. Good stuff. I'm happy so far. Up next on Delos, our time with more and more continues as we get some fresh new looks on the beach and we get absolutely mobbed by bats in the depths of the Panamanian jungle. Wow, look at all those bats. Look at Wow. Are you excited for more work to come? Yeah. Oh, okay, you need to pee, okay. Oh, she's so sweet. Pee-pee. What did you just do, Sierra? What is that? Is that a... Is that a baby bite out of a Parmesan cheese block? Hey! <laughs> hey, no, give me the knife. No, I already stabbed you in the foot accidentally. Oh, you want me to cut some off for you? Okay, here you go. Whew, sneeze, attack. Oh, Jesus. Oh, sorry about that. I'm gonna restart, hang on. <laughs>